I think it's gonna rain. It looks cloudy. And there's a lot of wind. See, look, raindrops. So yeah, it started raining and it stopped raining. Never mind what I said earlier, it's still raining. Man, I took like 50 screws off the whole thing. It's too dark to film in there. We need to film somewhere else. All right, originally the plan this morning was to make a video about this GoPro gimbal. But because I started taking the Bilharzia medicine uh, last night, I'm not feeling quite at 100%. So I figured it probably wouldn't be smart to go running around everywhere making a video about a stabilization gimbal. Um, so instead, we are going to be talking about lens image stabilization why it's so important, why I love it, and why you should definitely have lenses that have image stabilization. Complete truth be told, I've got a meeting with the head music director of Vision for Africa in like 30 minutes. So we'll see how much I can get done that now. Then I will go, have the meeting, and then we will get back to this video. Let's do it. What is it about water droplets on plants that looks so darn cool? Anyway, right now I'm headed over to the music school, but basically within a camera, without using a gimbal, there's a couple of different ways you can get stable footage. Uh, first of all is most cameras have some sort of inbuilt body stabilization. And then secondly, um, some lenses that you buy have a little switch on the side that says image stabilizer. So that makes the lens image processor also stabilize your footage. So if you combine those two together, you can get a pretty stable looking image without using something like a gimbal. Look at all that rain, oh my goodness. Looks like I'm gonna be staying here a while. Okay, so I found a more or less quiet spot that I can sit here and talk to you guys for a minute about lens image stabilization. Now, seeing as I already explained what it is, let me show you guys the difference between when the lens is stabilized and when it's not, and you guys can decide for yourself whether or not the lens image stabilization is a feature worth having. All right, for example, this is vlogging without lens image stabilization. All right, here's me doing a similar style shot, but I've got the lens image stabilization active. Ugh. So how is that in comparison? All right, let's test the lens image stabilization with some B-roll. So all this is gonna be slow motion, maybe. So I'm not a pro at this or anything. Based on my assessment, the, one, the shots that had the lens image stabilization activated were significantly smoother than the ones without. So that leads me to conclude, based on my assessment, 
I would much prefer to buy a lens with image stabilization because I see that it makes a big difference. Now this choice is totally up to you and obviously I make no amazing claims on the lens image stabilization. It still doesn't compare to something like a gimbal, but it will definitely help you get smoother footage. Um, yeah, I'm cold, I'm wet, and I'm going back inside, so. guys that's all for this video hope you guys enjoyed it if you did give it a like subscribe to my channel if you aren't already and I will see you guys in the next video